Let's do a quick review of product rule versus power rule for exponents. Let's take a look at product rule first, and then we'll take a look at power rule right next to this. All right, so for product rule of exponents, what we're going to do is add the exponents, right? We're keeping the same base, and we're going to just add the exponents. That's a shortcut for product rule. And then remember, we use this when we're multiplying exponents with the same base. So you need those two conditions, right? Multiplying the exponents, and it has to be the same base. So if we have an example a to the fourth power times a to the fifth power, we see it's multiplying, that dot means multiplication, and we have the same base, base of a, okay? So for this one, we can apply the product rule. So we'll add the exponents. We get a to the fourth plus fifth power. And if we add those, we get a to the ninth. That's going to be our answer for product rule for exponents. Let's take a look now at power rule to get a refresher of that rule. So for power rule, the difference here is we're going to multiply the exponents and keep the base, right? So it's different from product rule. Product rules add. Power rule is multiply the exponents. And we use this when we're raising a power to a power. That, meant, that means that you're going to take an exponent of your base, and we're going to raise it to another exponent. So let's take a look at this example. We got a to the fourth power. That becomes our new base, and we're raising that all, a to the fourth, to the fifth power. All right, so for this one, we see that we can use the power rule for exponents, right? and we have a to the four times five power. And if we multiply those, we get a to the 20th, and that's our answer for this one. So you can see, like, even though we have a as our base in both these examples, and four and five are both exponents, product rule gives us a very different answer than power rule does, right? So you can only use these in certain scenarios. Well, how do I remember the difference? Um, let's think of a strategy for product rule. Well, for product rule, we remember that product means multiplication. So that can help us remember that we need to use it when we're multiplying exponents with the same base. Also, product rule, that T at the end of product, the word product, the T looks like a plus sign. So let's pretend it's a plus sign, product rule for exponents, and we have a plus sign there. That can help us remember that we can add the exponents, right? Plus sign, add, well, it's kind of related there. So there's your quick refresher on product rule versus power rule for exponents.